Hello and welcome to today's race playlist. Today we are here for episode number 190. And today, of course, we are joined by the one and only Mr. September. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, well, I asked you 50,000 other times and you're like... That was you. You were you weren't saying anything when I asked you. Oh well, we're recording now, Mister September. Come on down. All right. What's the first question? <laughs> Why are you gay? All right. Um, what are you gay? So today's a sprint. We have adjusted the sprint rules just slightly. Whoever hosts the sprint makes a chew race playlist. <laughs> Uh, two races each instead of uh, how we previously did it by one person doing it, loading it up, picking the race. Kind of hopefully streamline the intro because the sprint sometimes uh, will take 20 minutes to complete a four lap thing that really shouldn't. So hopefully this kind of streamlines that a little bit here in the series. That way we can kind of get through both sprints, hop in, all load up the playlist, and <laughs> Hopefully it's done by 10 minutes into an episode. <laughs> it takes a while for something that we're just kind of like, it's there. Know what I mean, Gamar? I guess. <laughs> I have pretty good hopes about episode 190. Boy. Wall ride that bitch. This is the new one? Yeah. Yeah, because the first version is in the playlist, so it's not pickable. I think we got some good tracks. Of course, the last episode we did, we had some real good tracks in. I know at the end of it, or towards the end of the video, you said that you enjoyed the tracks that we had in it, so. Carry on with some heat. I think, I feel like I picked some good ones. I feel like I picked a, uh... A few good ones, because normally I kind of pick them and then don't look at it for like four days, where I just looked at it five seconds ago. Which does lead into what I was going to say, and that's uh, a shout out to Wanmer here for uh, pulling up in this week of recording. Uh, Fucking son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, that's wild. That's real wild. That's real wild. Ah. Uh, bro, that was a perfect run except for that last turn. That last turn is always giving me problems, though. That was wild. Ah. Uh. I knew as soon as I went into that turn, I was not feeling confident. <laughs> Something about the hot rings on this type of track is just wild. That section's so narrow, it's gonna definitely catch some dudes out in the racing and public lobbies of this track. Yeah. All depends on this corner. Oh boy, it was good for me. This 
track and I should get that little bit of acceleration on you. And uh, of course, put that up. That's a reset. Three, two, one, go. To stand forward would have been the best move there, but I mean that should have been a reset, but there wasn't enough time to break. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if if you had pulled off just a little bit later block, as I would come up like bumper to bumper with you. I'm thinking then maybe you would have been able to successfully block that, but I don't know if just staying in line would have uh, done that because I had a slipstream going on the corner there. Yeah, that was there the thing. There was a little I... bit of distance left. It's a tough spot to be in. Uh... I'll take it. I mean, I don't ever get fucking sprint wins. I don't know the last time I've ever gotten a sprint win, dude. I think you only won one race in the sprint this entire year. Yeah, let's check the stats. Yeah. yeah it's 9-1 to one before that win. All time in sprints is 22 to 8. My question is, what year are you doing Epic CW is most while February? Never. Never. It's never happening. I mean, ever. I'd be down to do a premiere project in February. It wouldn't be most wild February. Because um, that's, again, it was only April because of our project that we're doing in August and September that this got pushed back. Yeah, because normally there's a project at the beginning of the year. And then, like, early summer, and then, like, later. I think September is the latest we've ever had a project. Which we have the car months, and then we have... Uh, what was the other one? It was... I think it was theme week month. September 2019. I got a list with every premiere project every month that they've taken place in, so. I think October, November, and December, they're the ones that didn't have a project. Oh my god, I don't even know who got that. I'd say you did. Okay. Of course, lap led points. I don't believe they count. So I changed that. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I changed it that every lap counted or. I'll have to look at the rules. I think. Actually, I think I made every lap count. Pretty sure I adjusted it from being the. You had to get both. To every lap counted, and I, I'll have to check you every fastest lap counted or not, because that'll be a deciding factor here as well. Oh fuck! Oh, it's enough. Damn. Let's go. That was a good win. Let's go, dude. All right, kind of even itself out there for the uh, for the sprint. So let's Both gonna win. <clears throat> let's check the rules here. Okay, so each lap led is a point. Each fastest lap is a point. Okay. Cool. So. 
Did you pass the sub in the first one? I did. So I should get... You led two laps, because you led lap one of both races, and I lapped two of both. Oh, you led... We each led two laps of the four races. So... So yeah, the fastest lap was the determining factor. I got eight sprint, or I got ten sprint points. You got eight. Um, not bad though. Twenty points so far for Gamar with the sprint and the uh, handicap points, and I start with ten. I had to try something in that corner. I was like, I'll either hit you out of the way and spin you and I'll have a reset, or I'll bump you far enough and mess up your corner, which is what the goal was. I was. So I didn't hit you super hard and yeet you into the corner. Just enough to get you off your line. No, I mean, you got to make those moves. I definitely made a risky move um, both in. The first race and the second race with the um, when you moved over to try and block me out I crashed you and uh, or moved over into you and crashed you and then we didn't have enough time to reset which I probably knew we were going to uh, to get that win and then on the second race you know I had to uh, do what I had to do on the first race or the first lap and then hit you into the wall so you kind of like bounced off and lost a little bit of speed so I could get that first lap. But you almost took it from me. That but... first lap was close. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, my guys. Yeah. It's gonna be a good playlist. I know it's just gonna... I'm feeling this energy. Certified HVAC. It's about to get kicked. <clears throat> Hello? No, he's, he's here for good, dude. He's the guest for today's playlist. That's I literally can't kick Cross him, bro. Only. That's Vivek, dude. Don't kick him. Okay, now he's gone. It literally wouldn't let me kick him. I pressed kick like three times. All right. Yeah, see, that definitely made the sprint go a little faster because we're 12 minutes in the episode. Um, I like it. I think it was an interesting little change. I bet three. Alright. This is the final time this race is here. We each have won it once. Um, I won in the last episode. You won it two episodes ago when we were stuck in first person. That's uh, a reset. Well, holy shit. <laughs> That's the pull I hit in first person like ten times. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a reset. <laughs> oh my god. It's fucking car, dude. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, no way. That was brilliant. Uh, just as a reminder, don't forget that we did change the wait up rules that you could use them both whenever you felt like. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> Didn't mention the last episode because you used it once, but then I kind of forgot and I got to one of those points where I was like, so far ahead in points that using the weight up wasn't really the thought process anymore. It's been though, I wanted to say in the beginning of the race, but it ended up getting wild in that first lap was uh, the shout out to Wanitarian for the recording grind we've been on here. 
Um, obviously, it doesn't seem like it to the viewers, but this is day five in a row of recording of six days in a row. Um, I felt like I'd address it here in this video, though. This is the second to last one that will come out from that recording. So as my weekend trip to New Hampshire um, was on the weekend, that's typically when our recordings happen, at least a good majority of them, on Saturdays and Sundays. Four of our six videos are recorded on those two days so we get our regular videos in and the videos for the next week all in span of one week so again shout out to Wan for putting in that the grind time to that Here. Yeah, doing two days in a row of a race plus is kind of a wild, um, wild experience, wild thing. Of course, we will have that a little bit when it comes to um, our project. We're gonna have. We haven't really talked about what's in that project, so this is an interesting time to discuss a little bit of that, and that being. In each week, there will either be two race plus uploaded or two racing masters. Um, so that does add in one <clears throat> day. Do you want to do uh, muscle on this again? This is in sports. Do it on sports this time? Yeah, because they have like weird car choices for muscle so sure they'll have weird choices for sports as well i wouldn't be surprised what the fuck yep just a fucking unmodified comet dude great <sighs> all right i guess let's go with this well fantastic All right. uh. But yeah, when it comes to our project doing two a week. <clears throat> Uh, we're either going to have two Racing Masters or two Race Plus, so we will have basically days of recording um, two playlists on a back-to-back -back day or a playlist followed by Racing Masters. Oh my god, that's terrible. Of course, not as wild as last summer when we had the wild June 22 and we had a week of race playoffs episodes. Remember that, Gamora? Yeah, it was not fun. You didn't enjoy that? No. What's top three most unenjoyable moments of content creation? I know it's not something you like to talk about um, frequently, but like... Nah, I got you. 
Um, I mean, the worst moments, two of them are... <clears throat> well, there's three of them that I feel like are different. And I'll throw one thing in so that it's an extra. It's just the technical side of it. My technical side of it is when you do a fucking 30 minute video and it um, either wasn't recording or the system crashes. Uh, that sucks. But from a project standpoint, um, I felt like Voguary 2018 was trash. I know it was a while ago, but... Uh What? Oh, he's going wait up. Okay. Um, I felt like Vloggy Wear 2018 was trash. I know it was years ago and recording was different, but I kind of started the project and then wasn't really motivated to do it, so it was kind of just like not really it, essentially. Um, it kind of just sucked as an overall project and that was what premiere project number two so that kind of sucks all right give us a countdown three two one go the fact that you had to use a weight up with a modified car that's kind of wild but Now you'll just probably pull away and it'll be over rippy dippy. Um, so that part, that was big trash. I felt like doing two race bus in a day is always fucking terrible. Uh, not like I don't do big recording sessions, or we don't, like, have times that we do a lot of play, right? I mean, obviously, we've done the... In this week of recording has been a lot, but... It's also been broken up by the fact that it's at night every day, so it's not really like it's your whole fucking day dedicated to it, right? I mean, we sit down and play for two hours like we were going to anyway, it's just the camera's on, right? And obviously... We may just be playing GTA racing, you and I together, instead of with 10 other fuckboys who are crashing 60 fucking miles behind us. So, there's parts of it that isn't like it's not something we would be doing anyways, right? So, that, that hasn't been bad. But doing two race plays, because you have to be... There's an element of being in recording, obviously. Uh, I mean, we can't really sit here in silence for two hours. It's meant to be a good video, right? But if we're just playing together, we can sit here for ten minutes and not say anything to each other. And we're still, you know, enjoying what we're doing. Because we're not having to be entertaining. So... There's that. That makes the race buzz difficult. Because again, that's four hours, four and a half hours, depending on how long an episode is. Of just playing the same thing. You know, 16 races. And then, okay, we gotta do that again. So. You definitely have that sometimes, which isn't the most fun. We used to do that. And the number one thing, though, that stands out are the 12-hour live streams. Yeah, I feel like that was going to be in your um, <clears throat> top 10. They're Bro, each one. Be in that. Fuck. Each one's different. Uh, for why they're trash. Right, or why they weren't fun to do. Uh, the first 12 hour live stream sucked because it was 12 hours of playing, 
just Overwatch. Now, of course, when Overwatch was good, so it wasn't like 12 hours of Overwatch 2 where you just want to fucking kill yourself after one match. But it was the fact that it was 12 hours of Before the match starts. Yeah. Second you. Loading the screen. Yeah. The microtransactions are like, oh, give me a gun, dude. Exactly. So it wasn't like it was that, but it was the fact of this is before we had the capture card set up where we could switch games because if you stream directly from your PlayStation, um, I think it's still the same on PS5. I haven't tried it, but I know on PS4 when you would switch your stream or your game, your stream would end because it was blocking out the menu screen from being seen or the, uh, the home screen of PlayStation. So if you go to switch a game, it would close the whole stream out. Your stream would just end. So we couldn't switch games because the stream would end. So it was just 12 hours of Overwatch. Uh, and the second stream, which we did, is that this year? Is that last year? Last year, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think it was towards the end of last year, maybe like October, November, I don't fucking know. Um, the second 12 hour live stream, there was a different part of it because it was, we could switch games, so it wasn't that bad. And we had obviously done it once, so we timed it out better. The issue was that the games that we played in it, it wasn't enjoyable. We did an experimental playlist that some of the wild rules didn't really, you know, amount to anything. Because literally every single one of the wild rules, we did nothing with them. I do have the stats from that written into our playlist notes. And there's just a bunch of random shit like bonus points earned and... Extra. It was just a bunch of wild shit we did for two hours. That wasn't that fun. And then we went to do... I think we played Overwatch. In it. Um, I think it might have been before it switched to Overwatch 2. So it was still semi-playable. That was actually, I think, the part that we... Enjoyed the most of the three games. Um... And then we went to Minecraft, which just, you gotta sit down and say. Because oh. the thing was that each game had to be a uh, four hour block of the game, because it was three games in the 12 hour span. So we sat down, and if you just go in and say, I'm gonna play Minecraft, with zero, like, desire to play it. Zero, like, idea what you want to build and no objective. It's a very hard game to just do that with. And at that point, I definitely wasn't feeling, I don't even think that you felt like doing much with it because that was our last game as well. So we ended up playing, like, Minecraft Dungeons, which ended up being kind of fun at the end, but... Yeah, we also weren't, like... Into it, I feel like now we'd be able to pick it up a little bit easier. But I think for the twelve-hour live stream, I think doing a playlist, just like a regular playlist, and like a racing masters, just like getting a recording done within a twelve-hour live stream, could be an interesting thing. I mean, we could definitely do that with the racing playlist and racing masters since they're both caught up, right? Oh, like, um, yeah, yeah, everything that we do on the channel besides F1 is going out the current week coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So if we were to, we just skip out on it for a week to get prepared and then do a live stream. So that way it comes out like right then and there and it's available for people to watch. Yeah, but then that kind of takes your content for the week unless we upload it as videos separately. You're right. 
Yes. Yeah, it'd be one of those things you would have to do on like a Saturday, Sunday, or Monday type things. Because then nothing else, everything else would come out later in the week. We could stream it, and then I could just have it download or edit all the stuff from it. I mean, that's definitely an option. But I think doing live streams, because obviously we've discussed doing live streams, we talked about it, we've, we're looking at ways to incorporate that into our content creation, you know, that we do anyways. I think that if we stuck to doing, you know, Gran Turismo, GTA, those types of things. Oh uh, yeah, because then we could do an online uh, live. We can call it like 12 hours of cope. And uh, we can get people in. Bro, why do you, why do you want to do the 12 hour concept still? Because, dude, I think it's a good idea. Bro, and we've then, done two of them and neither one of them we I, enjoy. I know, well, third time's the charm, dude. No, dude. Yes! I'd rather do a two hour or three hour stream that we actually enjoy instead of dedicating 12 hours to it. Well, but good morning. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. It's a good idea. I've thought about it. We've done it twice, dude. Oh, give it another try, dude. Bro, I... The fact that we did it a second For me. time... Was... For me, dude. We'll the do second time is for you, dude. The, no. 20... <laughs> Bro, we do For like... Me. We do like two hours of streaming or recording and you're falling asleep, dude. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd be getting... I'd be prepared for that. Prepared, bro. It's not happening. It is, my guy. <clears throat> is it though? Listen, we'll talk about it, viewers. It's gonna happen. This fucking guy. Don't want to see it, dude. And we'll get viewers throughout the live stream. It'll be such a popular live stream. My God, dude. 12 hours of cope. You just jump into fucking Gran Turismo whenever we want. We can do Minecraft. We can do GTA. We can not do Overwatch. T two. Uh, <clears throat> we do three hours of Nuremberg Ring. This is fucking my dude. Oh <laughs> my guy. Three hours on of every... Nurberg ring, dude? Yeah, on every single track. So this. There's do... only fucking race two? Oh my god, dude. Race two? Race two? Why race two? Because he wanted to do fucking sports cars. Absolutely played himself. I forgot we made the DNF horse only one point. That's. Oof. What happened to you on that track? Gamar? Um, I would have to say that the car with upgrades just fucks off in a bad way. Like, it's. I don't know. I couldn't get any grip on the track and out there hit a certain speed and just.
kind of became a meme. Yeah, I was definitely surprised. I thought I was going to get absolutely bodied because I had the unmodified car, but... Yeah, but I did too. I even slowed up a little bit when I started because it's like, alright, well... Gotta relock in, you can make up some points here. Hope with the randomizer will be kind to you. All that. Print of the randomizer gods. Yeah, exactly. Minute Doobie. How do? Oh, fuck. All right. I'm excited though to hop back into some streams. I like telling people to fuck off in uh, Gran Turismo. We doing one after this? We'll peep the time. We'll peep the time. Shut the fuck up. Listen, I still gotta do the shorts from the last playlist. Let's put it this way. I feel like there's a good possibility we can do one. I don't want to do it until like 3 a.m. But yes. Okay. Because I know we've Sorry. we yeah, discussed no. that obviously uh, with our uh, discussion made the other night. Was it Saturday? Um, I think doing. You know, having. 2 a.m. be the guaranteed cutoff. Like, if it hits 2, that's the last race. I think tonight I want to do... The thing is, I don't want to be staying up super late, just because... I don't know how early I'm going to be leaving on Friday, so... I don't want to be, like, dead the first day of our trip, you know? Yeah. I think Wednesday I'll stay up a little bit, though, and we can just... Again, do a... Our gaming that's off camera. Putting the responsibility of the channel on you for the weekend, though. How you feel? What do you mean? No idea. Not basically that it means you get to see how many views we get and see if we popped off. Is there an option for that? Yeah, there was an option for that like months ago. We 
discuss. You can add you to the channel in different levels of it and you can have access to certain data. Does that give you access to my data? No. So it's not like a shared service? No, it's just the channel. You have access to like... How many views videos get. Like you can look at that stuff. Sounds intriguing. Yeah, we can take a look at it later. It's a feature that they definitely didn't used to have. Alright, dude, that's a reset. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, Drive. Thought I was gonna spin, but I didn't. Oh my Whoa. god, that's a reset! Don't really know what happened there, but. Three, two, one, go! another reset this lab dude what the hell three two one go Evasion. Kamar? Yeah. What happened? Uh, I th think my card is glitched back. Uh, I should have called the fucking wait, but. Because you were just like going to that corner, and then I thought your shit died for a second. But... No, no, no. Um. I cut, or you cut in front of me, or I, I was driving, whatever, however it happened. Um, and when I hit into you, I just, like, launched you ahead, and then my car just, like, stopped. And then, like, 
That's the reset. Three, two, one, go. I love how our resets are just like completely fucking stupid. I fucking take myself out and then I can be like, I'll be crashed. Like, bro. the wrong time. How many did you lead? One or two? I think one. So yeah, basically they have different tiers of inviting people to your channel. And essentially you just give people different level of access. So you can be a manager where you can view everything and create and delete content. An editor where you can view, go live, create and edit, but you can't delete or manage permissions of the channel. And then you have the same thing, but you can't view revenue data. And then there's subtitle editor, where you can view and edit in subtitles. Viewer, where you can see things, but you can't delete or edit. And then you have viewer limited, where you can view things but you can't uh view revenue data hmm. so we can look through those different levels of it that's i'm gonna have to say a reset unfortunately gamar all Let's right the countdown your first count out of the episode three two one go Yeah, that's crazy. You didn't have a countdown in the sprint. You didn't have a countdown in race two. We didn't crash. It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. That's wild, dude. We're 48 minutes into recording. You have to do one wait up. That's wild, bro. That's wild, dude. It's like channel history, dude. I did have to do a wait up. It was the countdown that I didn't have to do. Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck Don't up, Don't fucking Bozo. gargle like that ever again, Eddie. You fucking, fucking liked it. Gargomer. You liked it. Don't tell me fucking you didn't, gar Bozo. They call you Gargomer. Bro, you fucking loved it. Bro, you loved it. Bro, you loved it. Shut the fuck up. What are you, gay? <laughs> what are you, gay? If I can hit yeah. the when I crashed on my own thing. Oh wow, I actually fucking did. I hear. <laughs> I was gonna say about you, dude. <laughs> I almost, I almost had to say the line. I don't think I, I don't think the that was a fucking crash. mess of this track, dude. Thanks. I'll take that. 
<laughs> yeah, that's because I fucked around and found out. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you doing, dude? He's fucking around the track. He ain't paid the price. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I gotta respect the track. I'm sorry, track. This is Adelaide, dude. You don't fuck around on Adelaide. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, Adelaide. This is a historical this track the most... here on the race playlist. This is like the only track that we really... I mean, there's other ones we brought back, but this is the only one that we like consistently bring back like every 20 episodes like this shit needs to come back So the thing is though, I got rid of the WAN spot so now I can go through there properly at higher speeds. Yeah, what? I got rid of the WAN spot where you went and crashed on your own. Because the thing you hit is gone, so... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. That was a big drifteroni. That was also a big drifteroni. Oh my god! Stop fucking doing this. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> That's a reset. Oh my god! What the fuck? What happened? Three, two. One, go. Are you good? It's another reset. Yeah. It's an offensive uh, reset, my guy. Gets us a little bit further onto the track. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that was just a fucking bozo move, is what it was. That was a bozo move! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah! Shut the yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. Damn, you almost fucking absolutely me? annihilated me. Uh, but our internet getting fixed. Remember how I told you that the shit just like cut out for four hours? Yeah, you got that min mid internet. Um, uh, so the uh, they had somebody from Xfinity come here and take a look at it, and apparently the issue was the cable going to the house was like super old because it's probably the one that they either put in when they we first used to you get no bitches and uh said that i, I used know, to get no bitches I no i said they deduced that you didn't get any bitches and they needed to replace your cable so you have better internet yeah basically um so the issue was that it just was an old cable. So it's either from when we moved here or I don't remember if they had Xfinity here before or not, but either way, the cable at least been there for almost 10 years, right? So it's one of those things that the dude, like right when he pulled in, he's like, nah, that's the old cable. So he got up there on his ladder, took it down and said the shit was corroded. So, it obviously wasn't going to help you get a good Wi-Fi signal if you're, the wire coming to your house is corroded. So. You got some corroded-ass wires at your house, my guy? So, he took the wire off uh, yeah, from the house, from the road, so. put a new one in, and he's like, you yeah, should be good. Yeah, you should be good now, my guy. Now you're getting bitches. Oh, yeah. Is your bitches rate went up? since he's fixed that cable yeah bro 10 times dude. telling you my guy do that that's a satisfied customer right there xfinity you have xfinity right yeah there you go satisfied customer right there what happens when you fix cables these bitches come you got the internet 
That is what, what they gotta, do. Fucking live like a caveman. No, you're not. So, did you reach out to your mans? Um, no, not yet. But I did do a lot more research on him uh, since yesterday, and a couple other uh, candidates that are coming up. But it's probably not gonna get the uh, position as president of the United States. Um, DeSantis is still, or not, not DeSantis, uh, Newsom is still not running yet. Don't know why, but. Yeah, I looked at a list of like a bunch of potential people that could jump in and run. I thought I could have an answer for you, but that's, I didn't, <laughs> couldn't find one. Yeah, I don't know. This dude was, like, talking it up. I wonder if it's, again, like we were saying in the last episode, where um, the dudes can't decide if they want to say yeah, yeet to Biden or not. If you can't decide that by now, then I don't know what to tell you. So apparently that dude's going to run again with Kamala. Sweet. Yeah, that's... Exactly what we... That is exactly what we need. Sorry, Kamala, it's not your time. God. They're just trying to find an easy way to fucking fill in a box of getting yeah. a woman president because they know they're not going to fucking just get one elected. With the current I mean, crowd they of candidates could, that we if... have. Um, bonus winner for second place. Bro, do you want to hear a joke? I'm eating a, uh, ice cream bomb pop right now. Real quick. Yeah, do we need this to be two or five laps good? Um, West is good the West five. Loop is good with five, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you do have your bonus weight up. Use it wisely. Basically, it puts you back on two weight ups after burning that. One in the second race, so. Those of you wondering, the bonus wet up is free to use for Gamar. It will cost them zero points. Right. But you do have to say that you're using your bonus wet up compared to your regular wet up. All right. So what's your joke? Um. Let's see. What did the boy say to the bozo at the circus? Wow. Are you when? No, he said, You're a clown! Is that actually on the stick? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> There's no fucking way. Oh my! Yeah, you know how these fucking jokes are terrible, dude. God, the other one said some shit about a penguin and like fireworks. You better keep that one, dude. <laughs> Put that shit in your fucking shelf, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Dude? I'm not putting a popsicle stick on my shelf. Yeah, dude. Frame that bitch. No, you're no, you're getting fucking tossed off the track. Sorry, gummy. Sorry, gummy. Sorry. That's a reset, loser. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, no, you gotta keep that shit, bro. You're a fucking bozo. There's no way that this dude got a fucking popsicle since he said you're a bozo on it. I'm done. No. It didn't do. Nah, it said you're a clown, but... That's fucking wild. It said what? Yeah, what did the kids so say to the bozo the... with the circus? Yeah. It's just fucking hilarious, dude. Should say you're a Grand Turismo 7 player. 
the fucking <laughs> clinic kick lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God damn it, dude. Bro. We be like that sometimes, though. Bozo. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no way, dude. Yeah, I'm officially retiring from making tracks, dude. I don't have any ideas left. And I just added some new props in, but... You can make the bozo ring. The bozo... <laughs> this is Copeville. <laughs> Bro, you gotta make a Copeville track, dude. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, tell me about some of your research on some of these candidates that you did. Uh, it was mostly on the back. Um, I actually found out that he was a the first ever millennial to um, run for candidacy for the Republican Party, and dude is also uh, thirty seven years old, which is very it's pretty young for what we've seen in the last couple of decades for presidents. The bro could also be so. the first millennial to be on the race playlist, and the, the oldest person ever featured on the race playlist as well. So, I mean, if he wants to check some boxes, come on down. Yeah, but we don't, we, we're not in the business of checking boxes. We're in the business of conducting. Yeah, but I'm just saying, uh, you, you know, you want to add some more stats, you know, to your career. Those are some pretty big career stats, dude. Being on the race playlist, the oldest person. Yeah, the oldest person ever in the race playlist. Shut and, up. And the first millennial ever in the race playlist, dude. Shut the fuck up. Because you're like hardcore Gen Z. And I'm kind of like... I'm hardcore Gen Z. Is I'm kind of like am? in between... I'm more of like a Gen Z mix with like a boomer. Yeah, bro, you're definitely a boomer. I'm a fucking... zillennial, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Official term. That's definitely going to become a thing. It is a fucking thing, dude. It's Because it's the people, I mean, you would also fall in that category. It's the people that are like... Too young for like a lot of the millennial shit, but like too old for a lot of the like Gen Z shit, right? Yeah, you know, it's that time when like you would still go outside to play, but you could also like access the internet through things that weren't like your phone line, right? Like you're in, we're we're in that range. Where, like, millennials were, like, they'd go outside and then access the internet through, like, the house phone. If, like, your parents took a fucking call, you'd be, like, kicked off the internet. But it's not, like, a hardcore Gen Z where, like, you had, like, a fucking iPhone when you were 10. You're in between, you know what I mean? I'm in the in between. We both are, and people in like, I think it's like '96 to like 2000, is that range? We're gonna be like that. Basically, were you were you uh, alive when the towers fell down, but don't remember it? Uh, no, I remember it perfectly. Fucking <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no fucking way. It's your best joke of the night, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Can I can I make that into a short? Do you think YouTube would allow it? No, definitely not. <laughs> that fucking actually, they might because fucking apparently people are wanting to get rid of uh, Fourth of July. What? Because not enough Gen Z celebrate it. And I'm like, bro, <sighs> the fact that you're not celebrating your freedom, like... God, Gen Z is the fucking worst, dude. <laughs> so I don't claim being part of Gen Z, dude. It's more like the liberal woke. So Gen Z, of... bro. Yeah. God, fucking, fucking hate it, dude. Fucking pink green hair. God, the fucking worst, dude. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Damn. <laughs> this fucking song just said masquerading as a man for a reason. <laughs> There's no way, bro. Oh my god. So what other information do we have about this guy? Um... I mean, a lot of information. And what do you want to share? What did you learn that we should know? Well, a lot of the things that he was saying uh, was like deep in videos, and I wasn't able to find the video that I had seen the other day. So I didn't really get deep into what I wanted to search up about him. Um, for whatever reason, it was taken down or inaccessible when I was looking for it. <clears throat> but I did write a couple of notes. Hold on. Uh, like I said yesterday, I think it was, he um, wanted to make it so that American citizens had to take a test before they could actually vote. Um, because there's a lot of people who don't understand how voting works. That was explained in the last playlist. Uh, and I was also to go along with that was he wanted to raise the voting age from 18 to 25, except for people who, uh, I think it was work in the military, law enforcement, or like healthcare or something like that. Um. Said, uh, in the Ukraine war, he ends ending the aid to Ukraine. Um, and remember, allowing... no Buffalo SDX. Okay, and he is in favor for 
ending the war by letting Russia occupy the parts that uh, it had already taken over, and then they agree to end the war on uh, an agreement that I believe they also ended their alliance with China as well. Russia, they're being Russian. Yeah. Now, what do you feel about these things? Um, that last one. I mean, I'm, I'm for you know, conquering. I mean, I'm not, I'm not for it. I'm not rooting for Russia. But I'm of the belief that, you know, it shouldn't happen. However, if a country does get conquered by force uh, by another country, may that be militarily or by another country's civilians, then I would say that that's... Uh, they're, they're taking over. Um, and that would be, they would be conquered. So, I, I don't think just because we're in a modern society that that can't happen. Um, and regardless of if you want to recognize it or not, it's kind of how it is. And it's kind of how all the countries up until this point have formed. So, I mean, again, not advocating for it, but I do think that... If a country does get taken over, too bad. You lost. Like, so I don't think that that's a bad, um, conclusion to that I think that that would prevent really the war from escalating between China and America and all the other countries because that's going to be a very big focal point for the 20 uh, 20s what is it six elections four four yeah that's right um I mean I think the society we could you know avoid having as much conflict I think that's the thing that I guess is the counter to what you're saying with just because it's modern doesn't mean that we can't have countries do that I feel like there should be less of that and just more except that the other countries are doing their things and let them just vibe. I do think that it's a bit, it do be cringe to pull up and be like, hey, we're going to take over um, just because you're trying to restore some shit that took place a hundred years ago that started. All right, because I mean, the Soviet Union started in like 1917 when the communists took over Russia. So, and they went and took over a bunch of the other countries and made them part of the Soviet Union. So I think just saying we're going to try to bring that back because Putin's a big Soviet Union guy. Um, it's kind of wild. But at the same time, I think just giving money to a country that people didn't know existed two years ago. Um, like, you see the people that are like hardcore Ukraine stands. You ask them to point out Ukraine on a fucking map. You think A, they could find it now, and B, they could find it before 2022. Uh, probably not. No, probably not. So.
I mean, it do be unfortunate for Ukraine, but at the same time, I think that just saying as a country that we're going to give you a shit ton of fucking resources to fight a war, that essentially we're saying we were in a fight but not actually be involved in, um, is kind of the same shit that we did back in, like, the 80s and 90s in the Middle East, where we just gave a shit ton of money to these fucking people, and then see how that worked out. All right, we just want to fight wars in the Middle East against the Soviet Union. Both countries did it, where they gave a shit ton of money and resources to governments and random fucking groups and armed them. And then it led to fucking flying planes into buildings. Like, America fucking gave money and resources to Osama Bin Laden and then this dude fucking led a terrorist group that attacked America. Well, George Bush did, but still. Um, you get the point. Osama bad after America was the one that helped this dude. So, I'm not saying that Ukraine's gonna be like doing 9-11 part right. 2. But, oh, he's my way up. My free one. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna be doing 9/11 Part Two, but you don't. No, but it's one of those things that you are giving money to uh, another country to do whatever the fuck they want with. Basically, uh, this is your countdown. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, no, it's giving money to another country, uh, and it's American dollars so that's coming out of our yeah we're giving of money them weapons and increasing our inflation that's the thing if we want to say hey we want to help especially like a country that's been like an ally forever right like say if britain like needed some help and we're like sure we got you fam but i mean we're helping ukraine which kind of been chilling and i'm like we don't want to be a part of the war but We've sent so much money. We're basically a part of this war. If we don't send any money to Ukraine, Ukraine's going to fucking get wiped. And the other part of it, too, is that, like, Ukraine wasn't a, uh, I guess, ally country until their, like, current okay, government so. came in place. Because they previously had, like, Three, Russian control people. Two, one, go. Because a lot of those countries have, you know, people in charge that are kind of put there by Russia that are, like, friendly with Russia. Yep. <clears throat> so it wasn't like Ukraine just been this country that we've been like, that's a reset for sure, dude. Holy hell. Wow. Three, two, one, go. Yes, yeah, it's not been a country that we've just been, like, friends with forever, right? Yeah, we're treating it like we're pulling up to help a country we've been an ally with 200 years, but... We didn't have any deals with Ukraine until, like... <laughs> or, like, major things with them until they got into a war with Russia. Because Russia decided to invade. I mean, I do get the, the part of it of trying to get them to not work with China, but I mean, China and Russia are like hardcore friends. So that part of your man's uh, proposal, yeah, sorry fam, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's unlikely. That's the part that seems like the no-go on it. I mean, the other part of it, I'm not against. I think that that's how it should have been from the beginning. Is that the part that Russia had that their people controlled since like 2014? Just give them that shit and we move on. I mean, I think it's a lot more complicated than that, dude. I'm not saying it's not complicated, but. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick. Or not real quick, because I feel like it's gonna spark a good conversation, but how much. 
do you think how deep in the shit do you think the Ukraine actually is? Because why would the United States be giving so much money to Ukraine? If one, either this is going to extend out into a world war, if which obviously it is because, uh, not Hitler, um, Putin is not going to fucking Putin is not going to stop after he takes Ukraine. And everybody who's fucking thinking he's just going to be like, oh, oh, okay, well, good. No, that's not what's going to happen, dude. No, exactly. Like, <laughs> he's going to continue. So, either to prevent a world war, or, and they just don't want to say it because it's, you know, not a good look for <laughs> saying how they're doing it. Uh, or, they have more at stake with helping... Ukraine then uh, comes off to be because they clearly do not want this war dude I mean to be sending that much money is kind of um, an indication of you guys better win this because we're throwing them all in. It's just very odd for a government, like you said, that has no involvement before the war that happened a couple of years ago or started a couple of years ago. Just like, all right, here's trillions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, before we do that, I do want to just touch on the uh, Russia and China being friends. I mean, Russia literally waited until the Winter Olympics in China in 2022 were over before invading. Like, they intentionally waited just so that way China could get all their, you know, good uh, publicity out of it, which didn't really help because nobody was like, oh, damn, the Olympics happened in China. Now I got to go to Beijing. Like, that didn't happen. Like, a lot of these countries think they can do, like, China does or Russia does or... Saudi Arabia, Qatar do when they try to host World Cups or, you know, F1 races or whatever that they try to do to put them on a global stage to try to make them in a positive light. The sport washing that we've discussed. It didn't help China that much, if at all, but still. Russia waited so that way their friends could get the positive, positive look from it. Um, as for putting a bunch of money into Ukraine. I think that a lot of it is just trying to beat Russia. Because again, it's America against Russia has been a thing for ever. I mean, the only time that we've gotten along was never, but was like kind of World War II where we're both like Germany bad, Hitler bad. But it wasn't necessarily like the Soviet Union was hardcore um, friends with America. It was more beneficial to work together um, and take out the common enemy of the Nazis. Because both Russia and America disliked them in different ways. Uh, I mean, obviously the Soviet Union initially was trying to you know, be friends with Germany, but we kind of gloss over that part as winning the war. You kind of get to cross over the fact of they try to be friends with them. We don't really discuss that part, but still, uh, again, that that's really is like the only point that you can really think of America and Soviet Union, really, or Russia, because it's basically the same thing. Getting along uh, was for those like few years of World War Two, or even at the end, they knew like, oh, we're going to be beefing next. So, Soviet Union tried to get, like, the how to make a nuclear bomb without having to figure out themselves from America. America's like, nah, we're not going to share that information with you, sorry. Because they knew up next was each other. Um, obviously, completely different government ideologies. So, there's always been that between the countries. And, I mean... It's within, like, the government's of it. It's also within, if you 
probably ask a lot of people that live in those countries who the enemy of the country would be. You'd say Russia or America if you're from one of those two. To the opposite one. Um, so that's always a thing. So, I mean, obviously, if you can beat Russia and beat Putin, like, why would you not take that opportunity? And I think that that's where a lot of it comes from is we can't let that dude do what he wants to do. Right. But you know what the problem really is? Is is the fact that as Americans, you know, as people from the Western world, we are of the thought that the world works a certain way. It works the American way. And everywhere outside of the best America, way. the world doesn't work like that. Every, every single country has their own set of rules, albeit they're very similar to American rules in their most countries coexist with each other or basically almost every single country coexists with each other um, because if not then there would be all out fucking just chaos which you know we're getting there uh, but all countries have to coexist so the governments kind of are just like uh, you know what we'll let you do what you do kind of like what you were saying before with like the Chinese government um and the Russia government just being like, oh, yeah, you're good. Just do whatever you want. But, like, it's shit like that. So, it also comes with being allies of each other, though, too. Yeah. So, every... <laughs> so, everything um, that we know here, our, our morals, our rules, are different from the humans that live in different countries. So when you have a place like Russia or a place like China that just don't give a fuck, then kind of like you can have that mindset of like, uh, you know, tribal areas and people invading and stuff like that being a totally fine concept. And that's what I was getting at before with invasion being like, you know, you can do that. I, I don't think it's a good idea to have invasion be a possibility, but you can theoretically do it, and if you can do it, like, that, that is technically your piece of land. That's what I was getting at. No, I get that, but... I mean, that, but that's, again, the clashing of the ideologies, and it depends on what you believe in. I mean, do you believe in the ideology of Western countries, or do you believe in the ideology of countries that aren't Western countries, like Russia and China and Middle Eastern countries, which tend to agree more on those things and their way of taking things, or do you agree with America and Europe and some other countries that have been influenced by that, like Japan or South Korea, right? Because typically it's those countries. I mean, can you just have it both ways? Like, can you be... No, because they're completely different vibes. Yeah, one I of, know. One okay. of them is, like, a free, open individual, do your thing, and one is a lot of control from the government telling you what to do. There's differences. I just, I just think that it should not happen. But if it does happen, then, like, you know, it's theirs. <laughs> It's kind of what happens, and it shouldn't be. It should be like an unspoken rule that we don't like talk about, but like it's just how it is. Yeah, but an unspoken like, rule that's not how it is. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna say? No, like how are you gonna defend if let's say Russia takes all of Ukraine, right? Uh, are you not gonna recognize Ukraine as? Russia's now? Countries do that shit all the time, dude. Yeah, but it's... Countries like didn't a... recognize the whole time that Russia had controlled Crimea. That didn't get recognized by people. The whole time. It was just like, nah, that's still part of Ukraine. Like, that's how it works. Countries do that shit all the time. If they have disagreements, 
they claim different parts of land as that's a reset as their parts of land. Three, two, one, go. So we got tribal lands in America. What about them? Well, they were conquered. So they go back to the people who originally got them? Or had them? I mean... They could. Or does it not apply because they... it's America doing that? <laughs> I mean, it's not that it doesn't apply. It's one of those things that... You're looking at something that happened hundreds of years ago from a perspective of now. Um, how many laps do you okay. live in that race? Um, two? Okay. Or no, uh, yeah, I think two. So I mean, that's the thing. It, there's the difference of, are we talking about something in the current time with the things we've agreed on as countries in the last 80 years? Or are we looking at things from 300 years ago I mean, and we didn't have the same standard? When did Crimea get taken? 2012? 14. Uh, basically a decade ago. So you're saying that we would recognize it in 70 years? I think that at a certain point, it's there's Russia. potential that you could. But the difference of what I'm saying is that we recognize lands that have been taken over by countries from hundreds of years ago when that was acceptable more as a culture, right? It's not the same now as a culture. We don't necessarily, as countries, look at other countries taking over, people invading as, yeah, that's cool, go for it, where, you know, 400, 300 years ago, that was happening all the time. Right, I know we don't, but again, if Russia kills all the Ukrainians that live in Ukraine, then when they take the land, wouldn't that kind of eliminate the people? I mean, if you just fucking annihilate the entire country, then sure. I, I don't know how to answer that, dude. I mean, isn't that how war works? Like... Yeah, but it's one of those things that there's a reason why the government of America and other countries in Europe is, you know, giving them things to support them because it's a different vibe than it was before when you could just roll up and take over a country in three days and it was cool and acceptable. When there's like different international laws in place that didn't used to exist. That's the difference. I think that why it's viewed in such a negative way. I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't have before, but the way of fighting and taking over countries before and after World War II is different. Well, now, hold on. Are you saying that it's uh, not a socially acceptable thing? That doesn't really matter because there's been really the only time that it matters is if the country that we're defending is under uh, the UN protected list of countries in NATO. I mean, the UN and NATO are different things, but yeah. Or that we... Or did we jump in and protect? Well, I mean, NATO is countries that have agreed to protect each other. And the UN is a collection of most countries in the world. But there's nothing saying you have to defend those countries. But it's still within, like, international laws agreed on at the UN by the countries that are agreeing to them. And what makes it acceptable or not. Again, those are things that 
basically when you, again, brought up tribal lands and shit from when America was forming. Being, again, different because things that happened before World War II and we didn't necessarily have a organization in place and something... Alright, that's a reset. Um... um Three, two, yeah, it's you. one, go. So, I think that's one of the... You know, major differences in it. Um... So that's that's the part of it. Is again, we have different things in place to just make it not something that we're going to allow. And again, I think the main thing of it though is not wanting to allow Russia to do it more than anything. But I was reset. Damn, bro got tossed a million miles across the river. Three, two, one, go. Alright, dude. I just saved the car. I'll meet you at the pits all the way across the track. Oh, what's the thing this dude had said? The voting age of being people 25 or older? Um, unless you have a. Unless you're in the military or law enforcement or you are a, a first responder or something like that. What's your take on that one? Um. I mean, I would vote for. For him, so, and then the next time I'd vote, it wouldn't. I'd be old enough to. I vote mean, it, anyway, it so. wouldn't be one of those things that probably change it. Like, when they change age laws, you're typically allowed. Anybody that was already there is allowed to continue, but then it starts younger. On a uh, lot of that stuff. Cigarettes or. Yeah. But those types of things, they probably just keep it. Like, if you were 18. You'd probably be allowed to vote the next time. Um, but more of it, like, what's your take on that as a proposed change? Um, I mean, I don't really see the need for. I guess it makes sense for people who are in the military. Um, and yeah, actually, I guess people who have government positions or all of the things that he said that that makes sense because your job would directly be affected. So I don't have a problem with that because I are do you think for that for upping it to twenty five. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think that should really realistically be the age of, you know, because that's when you're an adult is when you're 
brain is fully formed is at the age of 25 for males, I believe. And like 23 for females. I don't think it should be, yeah. Interesting. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's something that we need to change. Um, Why is that? Fuck out. I, mean, I think when you're 18, you have the ability to do more adult things you are seen as an adult so why would you not be allowed to participate in things that are seen as a adult decision of deciding who's in charge of the country well the thing is that um that kind of leads into like upping the age of being an adult is because your brain still isn't truly fully formed until you're 25 years old and that's why they want to raise the drinking age and everything more. So you're going to raise the drinking age and raise the that's age you can drive? That's not, no, not drive, but... I mean, driving's part of it, though. That's an age-based thing. Why we would might you... raise that to 17 or 18, but they're not going to... I don't know why they would do that, well, to I'm be just, honest with I'm you. I'm just asking, if you're going to raise voting and you want to raise drinking why would you then be allowed to do something like drive a vehicle which has the ability to go very fast and when you drive a vehicle very fast things can go wrong which can have big consequences I guess it's there's an age of like liability and I don't know People are acting more mature, so I I don't know, my I what. I don't know. You're the one that's for it, so I wanna. You know, what are you are you for raising the age of drinking? Yeah. And why is that? Same thing. Um. Yeah, I guess. Countdown. Three, two, one, go. Now, there's a hard one. I don't think that. Currently, as it is, you are 18. You're an adult. So I think that at 18, you should be allowed to drink. It should not be 21. But. When it comes to physically harming yourself, um, it, alcohol is really not good at all. So I mean, it's not. If if I was president, I would kind of not have alcohol. So. But you just ban alcohol. Thing. Yeah, because it's a very dangerous drug, dude. That's a yikes, my dude. I don't know, my guy. That's that's a wild one. Well, I mean, you got to take hard stances on some things sometimes. The reason I say that is because um, alcohol is a very dangerous drug. Um, if used improperly, just like really anything, but it's the fact of that you can kill yourself very easily with alcohol, um, and hurt other people very easily, um, uh, with the effects of alcohol, um, and everybody reacts to it differently, it's super unpredictable, and alcohol actually is one of the highest highest percentages of drugs that send people to the hospital for related injuries due to that drug with uh, I believe the bottom being mushrooms having the least and weed following that 
What's your take on caffeine then? Oh, that's a drug that's also harmful. I don't think kids should be having caffeine, dude. <laughs> no, I agree with that. In the form of coffee? In the form of anything, basically. You said what? Basically the form of anything. Yeah. I mean, the, the main thing that's going around is there is the prime energy drinks. And kids are drinking those because it says prime and their parents don't do the fucking research. There's a difference in the prime in the can and the prime in the bottle. Um, of course, the way the media is spinning it is prime energy drink bad. Um, and not... Basically, they're like, we need to have this investigated that by the government because... Prime energy drinks have a decent amount of caffeine. Uh, oh, what? What? Why do you need to have that investigated? The FDA needs to investigate it more because that shit has. That's a reset. Slightly more caffeine than Monster. But we just got a bunch of fucking dumbasses. Um, three, two, one, go. Basically, people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, because obviously, if you look at the way the energy drinks are marketed, right? We'll take Red Bull and Monster, because basically, Red Bull is the original energy drink, and then Monster basically copied it and does the same exact marketing tactics, right? When Red yeah. Bull was first coming around, it was marketed to college students so they'd put empty Red Bull cans around colleges to look at people were drinking it to help boost their sales and when you look at the things that they're marketing and sponsoring it's through you know people doing sports and things right a lot of the extreme sports they'll be on motorcycles and different race cars skateboards exactly race cars, all that BMXs. stuff all that stuff they'll be on if there's an extreme sport there's a good chance Wing suits exactly there's a good chance that red bull monster or both are there that's a reset Three, two, one, go. So there's a good chance that they're there. But they're not in a way that they're marketed towards kids to drink them, right? You know, a kid may see it and be like, oh, it's on the race car that I like, right? If you, you know, you're a kid, you're watching F1. Oh, wow, Red Bull car winning. I like the design or whatever, right? I know I used to really like the Red Bull cars back in NASCAR when they were racing in like, 2007, 2008. I thought they were so cool. I want to suck them off? No. But I thought those cars were really cool, but my parents also knew that Red Bull was the energy drink that I should have because I was like nine and, and I seen them on the cars. <sighs> or it's like the same thing with Monsters. Like, no, you can't have that. So there's that built-in like knowledge of the brand that you know that it's an energy drink that kids shouldn't be having. And it's the same with like coffee. Kids shouldn't be having. But something like Prime, I don't even know if it says energy drink on the can. Um that's one of those things that the kids, you know, they'll probably watch like Logan Paul or KSI or whoever the fuck is promoting it typically one of those two because it's their brand and then they'll go into like target and have a meltdown and be like i want prime and then all they'll have is the can and then their mom will be like fine you can have it and put it in the cart and then their kid drinks 200 milligrams of caffeine i want prime i'm fucking done dude you know it you've been there oh uh, yeah dude i've seen multiple multiple meltdowns over prime dude there's a woman with like 
eight or nine fucking like of the cardboard boxes to hold like nine of the prime in there. Bro, it was crazy. She was like, kids in there, and then Robux gift cards. She was oh like, my god. I was like, bro, what are you fucking. This world is ridiculous. So it's one of those things that, like, you know, if they don't, like, look into it and realize that there's a difference in the, the regular, you know, hydration drink that's essentially just trying to be Gatorade or body armor, right? Or. The body ones armor. That, the one that's. A, what? Nothing. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's basically just trying to be one of those drinks, right? So. Yeah, it's not. It's not? Yeah. Okay. Either way. Um, you know, Prime's in one of those categories of those types of drinks. So. I was in one of those categories. Can I finish my goddamn sentence? Yeah, go ahead. So, that's the main thing, is that it's really just parents not doing their knowledge of this brand that their kid wants the product of. They're having a meltdown of probably in the car, probably the second they see it on YouTube. Um, and they're just like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll get you the can. I want Prime. <laughs> I want Prime! <laughs> uh, but that's genuinely the thing. So... <laughs> You know, and then the kid probably like drinks 200 milligrams of that shit because the prime prime has the more caffeine than Monster in the can of the, the can size of Red Bull. So it's a it's a lot of caffeine. So because Monster is like 160 milligrams. So. Having more than that is kind of wild already. And then to give that to a kid, I mean, I I think the most that I try to have on a day maybe would be like 100. Have you ever had a prime? The energy drink? No, the uh, Amazon subscription service. Yes, the drink. Well, I don't know which slut. one are you talking about. The energy drink or the other drink? Energy drink. Uh, I had... I think I had a whole can of it. Because I didn't want to have that much caffeine. You said an entire can? No. That's not what I said. Oh. Uh, I said so I had... never had any? I had part of it. I didn't drink the whole thing, dude. Oh. Did you just throw it away? No, my dad had the rest of it. Oh. Well, have you had a Mr. Beast bar yet? No, have you? No, but they're selling them for like mad cheap. The entire box is like 99 cents. Is that at Target? Yeah. I, I don't know if we've got them in right now, but like, bro, it's so weird. Like, um, the guy who works on market pointed it out. Like, every other item that's, like, in a case, when you scan it, it doesn't, like, come up as, like, a case pack. It comes up. Oh, they do have it at Target. It says right here. I can pick it up tomorrow. I can order that for pickup. I'm not oh, sure if it's, like... Never mind. It says that it's not available. But when I went on Google, it said it was available. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, just Target. You know, i be... But it's, like... Oh, it's just fucking a couple Google of... when you look up shit. It says it's available, then you go to the website, not available. Ah, uh, yes. I searched Mr. Beast Bar on Target's website, and it fucking shows me a fucking Hershey's bar. Fix your website, retard. So, are you gonna say that? Oh, um, yeah, the whole thing is like 99 cents or something like that. Dollar. Hmm. That's very weird. And he was thinking that because it's a Mr. Beast thing, 
Maybe he did that on purpose. I mean, because no know. other item in the store is like that. I mean, let me know if you get them in, though. I'm trying to find them, but. We'll do a live um, taste test in the uh, Total Hour Live stream we're doing. Hmm. It says it's available at Walmart, though. I would be surprised if it was, though. That shit sells out so quick, too. I kind of want to try five lapses just one time. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems like it's an interesting product, John. Bro has one called D's Nuts? Oh my god. Let's go. Talk about being a fucking legend, bro. Yeah, I like when YouTubers come up with products that are actually, like, fucking... Um... Cool, and not just, like, some dumb shit. Like, oh, I put my name on a fucking video game. Like, that's great, dude. Congrats. Like, that's why I think something like what Mr. Beast does with his products or something like... Prime is more um, interesting because it's genuinely like them actually wanting to make something and doing something like that instead of just putting their name on some shit. Like it's genuinely people like actually doing a uh, a brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like obviously the Mr. Beast bars or Prime gets a boost from the fact that they're popular on YouTube in general and especially popular with like kids who again will be like i want prime in the middle of the fucking store and sell out the whole case in two days <laughs> all right kids around that kid are gonna see it and they're gonna be like mommy i want prime exactly so everybody's I mean, just gonna want prime <laughs> it's one of those things that like i wanted to try because i was like oh it's you know youtubers can that's kind of cool i do youtube i'm a professional youtuber just like logan paul ksi we're basically on the same level did you bang your fist on the table and ask your mom for Prime? No, I just went to Target and bought it myself. Oh. Should've, but... No, I remember when the watermelon one dropped, I was like in Panera and I just like bought a whole case. That's a reset, stupid boopid. Three, two, one, go. So I remember I went and I was like, I just want to, I went on the website and I was like, I wonder what flavors they have. And I seen they had. Oh, that's that. I seen they had watermelon, so I went and like bought it right when it dropped. But three, two, one, go. So there's that. But again, I think something like Mr. Beast doing the the bar is like again, it sells because it's Mr. Beast. But it's also one of those things where it's genuinely like coming up with a brand and come up with a product and selling it and you know making it successful more than just this bar says Mr. Beast on it so everybody buy it it's one of those things that like it could become a product that is people in general that don't know who Mr. Beast is or again Prime where it's people that don't know who Logan Paul or KSI are and they like it so my parents drank the Prime and they both like and they have no idea who these people are. The only thing that my parents know about Logan Paul is he recorded a video in a forest. <laughs> in Japan. That's the only thing they know about this dude. Like, genuinely, that's... But I mean, they... Definitely drinking it. So that's the thing that I think is cool about this um, products. So I think that the Mr. Beast bar is interesting. I definitely want to uh, find one if they ever are in stock for more than two seconds. 
So if you happen to see one at work, let your boy know. Okay. Oh, we record a lunch list short of these nuts. I mean, the best YouTuber thing though is Mr. Beast Burger. Let's be honest. Yeah. That shit's goaded. Nah, it's definitely good. That is genuinely one of the things that like. My parents will talk about, like, wanting to get Mr. Beast Burger, and I'm like, oh shit. Especially when they have the ones that's like the fake meat burgers. They go wild for that shit. Shit the trash. The, the Impossible Burgers? Yeah. Oh, 100%, dude. But my parents have somehow convinced themselves that fake meat burgers taste better than real meat. And I'm like, okay. It's so not better. They've somehow convinced themselves that Beyond Meat and Impossible Burgers are the better option and will not eat regular meat on 90% of the time. I'm like, okay. The thing is that it tastes worse. And costs more money. Like, you get the Mr. Beast Burger. If you just get the regular Beast Burger, that shit's like $9. You get the meal, it's like 13 Oh, yeah, because those Soy Boy Burgers, dude, those fucking cost like yeah, dude, tens of dollars. The Impossible, the Mr. Beast Impossible Burger, that shit costs... Um, like $13 just by itself before you get the meal because it was did you lag out uh no I should have been I did say I lagged out yeah it says you left oh fuck dude man and it's a fucking long ass race <sighs> god damn it well good thing this episode's most of the conversation off the driving anyway I guess. Um, yeah, I mean those those burgers. I mean, we got it's so a Fourth of July. We got Taco Bell, mm -hmm. and I got like fifteen items on the menu, and I don't remember how many I got. But I got a lot. And then... My mom got like two things. My dad got two things. And then we got my grandma one thing. And got it delivered. And it was like... $70. Which is a lot for Taco Bell. But we also got like a shit ton of food. Alright. <clears throat> that night... Or later that night. I was like... I really want a burger. It's 4th of July. You gotta have burgers. Like... You know, that's a requirement. So, mm. I was like, let's get Mr. Beast Burger. I bought three burgers and a oh, chicken sandwich. Eagle. Yeah. I bought three burgers and a sandwich, and that shit was like chicken sandwich. And that shit was like almost $60. And I was like, bruh. I mean, Mr. Beast Burger isn't like the most cheap, but also when you get Two of the fake meat burgers that are like almost fifteen dollars each. That's just fucking wild. Yeah, that's what you don't. <clears throat> that's what they don't say about um, establishments that are like kind of like two stars because a lot of restaurants, specifically fast food restaurants, have went from one star to two stars. Um, like McDonald's, they. Their food doesn't cost like one dollar anymore. It's all like fucking four dollars, five dollars for each item. And when you know you add all that up, and you're getting like a large fry, you're getting a burger, you're getting a chicken, you're getting a 
See yeah, us, dude. Uh, Grimace shake. Did you get one? No, I didn't, dude. Damn. I'm so sad, dude. I didn't get to celebrate his birthday. The, to touch on that real quick, the day that I got the Grimace shake, I spent thirty dollars at McDonald's. I'm sorry, I mean, it's giving us his birthday, like. So I got the meal, which I mean, it did come with fries, and it came with the shake and chicken nuggets, and then I got my mom some fries and the filet o fish because you can't go to McDonald's and not get that for her. Um, which, just as a note, filet fish not bad, but when you're looking at the list of everything you get from McDonald's, kind of towards the bottom. Um, and then I got myself the quarter pounder with cheese because that's the best burger from McDonald's. Um, you know, the filet fish sounds like he sucks cock, dude. Yeah, a filet fish is. Have you ever had one? No, I don't like any. I don't like big fish. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like a square fish patty on a piece of bread with like oh, God, dude. half a slice of American cheese. That sure reminds me of like a fucking school lunch. Yeah, it's one of those like, things that's like, it's uh, not great. Wait, but... What the fuck is a fish patty, dude? And he like shredded that shit in a can, the tuna in a can. Whoa, that don't sleep on tuna can, bro. Nah, tuna in a can is nasty. Tuna in a can is heat. And a fucking sleep. fish, filet fish. Dude, unless it's an actual filet of fish, like the fucking, the fucking meat filet, I'm not interested, dude. <laughs> Bro, the fish from interested. Popeyes, though, that was heat. Fish sandwich there, that was good. Uh, I'm not by a the way. fish sandwich person. I'm very consistent with not liking certain types of fish like lobster i'll fuck go to town on sushi i'll go to town on i mean don't get me wrong it's Real not something meat, that i see I'll go to town i on. definitely if i'm gonna get mcdonald's or if i'm gonna get popeyes i'm not looking for fish All right if i'm getting mcdonald's i want a chicken sandwich or chicken nuggets or a burger if i'm going to popeyes it's basically the same minus the burger i'm not necessarily looking for fish my fish experience will be tuna in a can. I do fucks with lobster. You got to go to a seafood restaurant, especially living in New England. You got to go to a seafood restaurant at least once a year in the summertime. Sit outside. Um, Big one is good too with the lobster. Oh my God. And then I fucks with some sushi. Sucking I'll that fuck lobster it up. meat out, dude. Oh my God. Sure you love sucking on meat. Uh, do you boil the lobster yourself? I'm not fucking... I don't do Boiling. that. Why would I? Have, I've never cooked a fish, dude. Lobster's a crustacean. Cool. I've Some never fish. cooked a sea creature. Shrimp. I've not cooked Are you a, a guy? sea creature. Nah. Eh. Not necessarily. I will fuck up a calamari, though, dude. I've never heard that answer about shrimp before. And not necessarily. I've heard either a solid yes or a solid no. Not eh. <laughs> I've never heard that, dude. I mean, shrimp's not bad, but I'm not, again, I'm not seeking it out. I mean, bro, I'll fuck shrimp up when it's, like, grilled with a steak, dude. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, I have an interesting choice in food. God, I don't really absolutely. fucks with the sea creatures, and I don't fucks with desserts. Those are my. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting that you wanted the Mr. Beast bar, considering you don't like chocolate. Listen, I'll fucks with occasionally. I'll fucks with the chocolate bar. That's the thing. My thing for sweets is more like it depends on what it is, right? Like. I'll have some sort of candy, but typically my candy is like I'll have a payday. M and M's or a pop tart. I'll have a payday. I'll have M and M's. I'll have like Reese's, either like peanut butter cup or Reese's pieces. One of the two. That's pretty much it. And when it comes to desserts, mm, not necessarily. I mean, I have like the ones that I have occasionally for work when I have like a long ass day, but. 
again, I don't seek them out. It's kind of just there for, I can throw it in my car and then like, when I'm on break, I can just like open and need it. But I wouldn't say like, I just thoroughly enjoy it, no. Um, okay. But I mean, you know, it comes to shit like, I will fuck with like a donut. Donuts are cool, but <laughs> not really much outside of that. I like donut shaped women. Um, that was a fucking circle. Huh. Yeah, I guess. Uh, are you able to rejoin this race from where you're at? No, I can't. Sorry. You can invite me though. Okay. Come on, send me an invite. I can join. Yeah, I can. I still got one more lap. That's why I asked you. I'll be honest, this track kind of sucked. Yeah, it blows, dude. I'm glad that my fucking shit fucked up. I'm in the game now, though. It definitely looked better on the uh, site when I looked at it for the, like, the map and everything. I was like, oh, that doesn't look bad. Because it looked like it followed a lot of the roads. But then this dude just built a fucking track over the fucking... Guy, because again, when I looked at the the map, the placement of the checkpoints, a lot of them look like they're over the road. So I was like, "Oh, it's not terrible. Looks pretty cool." Dude has built the fucking sky platform. Well, at the beginning, but she kind of fell off. Well, Let's set the sit shit to two laps, and we're good next time. Um, bro, the other day we had somebody like brought in some cake at work, and it was in like the pro area. I think it was like one of the some of the pro customers will like do shit for like people that work in the pro and lumber area. They like buy some shit. I know like one day, especially on like holidays, we had like Christmas. One dude they like, brought in some pizza. Um, they just bought for everybody, and there was one dude who I believe that it was a customer that had bought the cake that just said like 4th of July Lowe's squad some shit on it um and the manager and pro was like hey there's some cake I'm like nah I'm good fam man's was shook that I said I didn't like cake I'll fuck up some ice cream cake but I don't like cake either. What's your take on ice cream in general, though? Uh, depends. I have to be in the mood for it. Yeah, there's certain things that I think are good for ice cream. Like, if I'm feeling some ice cream, or pretty much my ice cream experience is cookie dough. Outside of that, I'm good. Um, I eat a lot of ice cream during the summer. That cools me down. Skill issue? Um, uh, skill issue! Uh, it's ice cream but... to cool down. Get a fucking Gatorade, get an air conditioner, and you're good, bro. Yeah, I'm good. I'll just stick with my ice cream. Bro doesn't believe in air conditioning. That's crazy. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter anyway. But. Uh, at the topic of the food thing. Yeah, dude. But what about the, uh, Snickers bars with ice cream in them? How you feel about those? You have those? What do you mean, do I have those? Have you had them before? Oh, yeah, I've had them before. You remember my guy you used to have the Snickers ice cream bars at your house when we were kids? And oh, yeah. Fucking ate a bunch of them. I didn't remember. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are heat, dude. Shits are dank, dude. Not those, those you get the peanut butter Klondikes, too, bro. We're going uh, wild. For I can do without of them. I can do without. 
No, I'm just saying like back then though, that was one of the other items that was there. It was the Snickers and the peanut butter Klondikes, bro. Oh yeah. But no, the Snick I forgot about eating like one of the million Snickers bars, yeah. Just to fuck them shits up, dude. Those are goaded. You also used to fuck up the tomatoes too, don't forget the tomatoes. The cherry tomatoes, bro, you just be like Chilling well, in the good. kitchen. This man would he... <laughs> My parents would always say that they knew you were there because this dude would just like <laughs> eat half the fucking container, bro. <laughs> yeah, the cherry tomatoes are like sweet but not too. Like, have you ever ate an actual tomato? I just yeah. bit into a tomato. I've had tomato before, dude. Yeah, I know, but like just a tomato, not in a hamburger, not. Yeah. Just a tomato. You've had a tomato? Yes, dude. A regular size, like a beefsteak tomato? Yes, I've had a fucking tomato, dude. Okay. So, you know how it's like, kind of tastes like dirt, but it's like, got that like, <sighs> got that like deep taste. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't taste like very sweet. But when you bite into like a cherry tomato, that shit's like, Super sweet, it kind of like makes your mouth fucker, shit like that. It's so good, dude. <clears throat> the funny thing is, when we have tomatoes, like the cherry tomatoes chill on the counter, my mom will like let me know they're there, like before you're gonna come over because she just like remembers you eat them all the time back then. I was like, We do have tomatoes, you're not wrong. So, if you're ever looking for cherry tomatoes, check the counter and eat them all. Oh yeah, no, I do. You should have noticed that they're like different colors. I don't really fuck with the ones that are different colors because I don't know if they're like. I don't know. <laughs> they taste the same, dude. <laughs> She's like having different colors of tomatoes. Huh? You know, there's different colors of tomatoes. I, yeah, I know there's different colors of tomatoes. I just didn't. That that one didn't look appealing, like color wise. Oh. I didn't know if it was like ripe or not. Yeah, no. If you look at the all the ones in those containers are they're good. I could do a randomizer. I forgot to do it in the last race, which is so unfortunate. Oh, it's a triple fastest lap point. That's that's good. What's your favorite vegetable? Wheat. Weed? Wheat. I'm a big wheat guy. So corn? No, specifically? wheat. Like wheat. Like I'm gonna have like a wheat like like pasta or bread. Wheat. Or corn? No. Wheat. Uh, Isn't corn a wheat? Corn's a corn, my guy. Yeah, but like the... The plant species behind it. Isn't that like a part of the wheat family? I don't know. I can see it. I'm not sure. Probably. I know that's a reset oh family, dude. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> Damn. All right, three, two, one, go. This surface with these cars, dude. Damn. <clears throat> oh, I was thinking of the word uh, of the. Oh shit. I was thinking of grains. We took uh, grain. Yes. Yes. Which is a vegetable. Nah, I mean, not I... wheat, corn. Yeah. Hey, well, both are. Both are grains. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I guess vegetables. I mean, I fucks with tomatoes occasionally. 
basically, I don't need enough vegetables to comment on this. I should eat more, but I kind of just like don't. Bro, vegetables are the shit, dude. They're not, but um. Come on, dude. You just don't cook them with them right. Steamed broccoli. I don't cook with them right. Some grilled asparagus, dude. Nah, asparagus is fucking nasty, dude. Don't. It's because you don't fucking cook it right, dude. Yeah, I don't That's cook it right. I don't cook it myself. And I don't fucking well, want it. You gotta do that. What? No. Three, two, one, go. I don't fuck with the dude. That asparagus tastes disgusting. Sorry. It doesn't taste like anything, dude. Yeah, it tastes like bad. I don't like it. <laughs> it tastes like bad. No! I am like bad, dude. <laughs> Good. I mean, I'll fuck some tomatoes and carrots occasionally. Um... What about onions? Depending on the usage of them, I'm not just gonna eat an onion, but... Uh, onion rings... You got... Onion... You got, uh... Onion on hamburgers, you got, like, shallots. So my thing with onions is that I don't, like, seek out to add them to something. But if they're part of it, I'm not taking it out. Let's put it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not like, damn. Onions go good on a lot of fucking I'm not shit, like, dude. damn, let me go buy an onion to put on the <clears throat> burger that I'm going to make. But if there's a burger with an onion on, I'm not taking it off. So I'm like, oh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, There's a lot of greens that I'm not a fan of, like. Kale, kale tastes fucking disgusting, dude. Arugula is good though. I'm a fan of microgreens. Oh god. I like in tacos and shit like that. So I'm a fan of microgreens, bro. Bro, bro said so I'm a fan of vegetables that aren't done cooking. That's fucking wild or growing. Bro, when I fucking uh, live with Lexi, dude, she made some bomb ass tacos with like microgreens and all this shit, and she was like super health conscious. Bro, oh my god, that was so good. This episode's taking a while tonight, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Holy hell. With all these super long tracks, you set to five laps. I only set one to five laps. That's I only thing. set one. But, I mean, that was a mistake. Uh, I definitely kind of just wanted to see. I thought, again, I thought it was going to flow better than it did. So... We'll definitely set that to two next time, and that should only take, like, six minutes, but still. I mean, we do have some long tracks in here that even on two minutes take a or two laps take a while. Whoa. The thing was, was that do I want to put in... Basically, for you, mm -hmm. was... Do I put in three Tonga rings or do I put in um, another Top Gear test track? And we have two different versions of the tracks with the same exact name. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think one of the Tonga rings should drop out after this recording, as should this. All right, what were you gonna say though earlier about like restaurants being expensive? I know we we're talking about that. Oh yeah, um, places like McDonald's got a lot more expensive now. 
Uh, and they, that shit adds up. Um, you know, once you have a, let's take the quarter pounder. That's what, like four twenty nine or something like that. It's like five dollars, dude. Five dollars, like that shit used to be like three dollars back when I was a kid, probably. And like when my parents were kids, it's probably like a dollar. So it's just gone up a lot for the same amount of food. And I mean, that's. You think about it, like for McDonald's, it's extremely expensive. Five dollars for a burger, because if you buy, let's say, your kids fucking crying about McDonald's, and then they're crying about Prime, and you have two kids, right? So you, why you gotta two get two McDonald's the meals McDonald's with the grimace app. shake. Get that, like genuinely. And then you gotta get the Prime, and now you gotta get it ordered to your door because your kids fucking crying about. Not having you an ice cold. Kid, no. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a parent who's a liberal. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. They just gotta get everything. Never get told no. God, fuck. All right. Um. <clears throat> no, but genuinely, like as a tip, if you are somebody who eats McDonald's, not even frequently, I'll genuinely have that shit like maybe. I'd Spit say maybe 10 times in a year. Maybe. Less than once a month. We'll put it that way. I was trying to think of what I was going to say. That shit is... I have about twice a month. Once or twice a month. Once or twice a month? If okay. that. Yeah. I found that having that is like super beneficial though. Because you do get a decent amount of like free items with it. Most of the time that I go to McDonald's, I tend to get something for free like when i told you i got that stuff for 31 dollars, which again grimace shake chicken nuggets two things to fry filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese i actually got two quarter pounder with cheese because i had the um deal on it if you bought i think it was chicken nuggets big mac or quarter pounder with cheese you would get the same item or those same three options you could pick one to get for free so I found that that of like a lot of the apps that aren't really that beneficial to have, I found the McDonald's one is actually more valuable than a lot of the restaurants that have apps that are like, you can get our rewards, and then after like fucking eighty purchases later, you get a free like. Dunkin' Donuts is bad either. Dunkin' Donuts got a good one. Okay. Yeah. They give you a lot of free things. Uh, I guess or so. Discounts or whatever. Yeah, Brittany used that shit a lot, all the fucking time. Bro, every time I fucking went to go get a Dunkin', she's like, oh my god, you use my points thing. I'm like, I have to go? She's like, yeah, it gets me free points, and then you get a free drink. I'm like, all right, you didn't have to, like, actually answer the question. I just didn't want to, like, scan the thing. Speaking of fucking... never ended up. It never ended up working for me, so I fucking never use apps like that because they never work when I go up to the counter and try and scan the shit. So the thing is that I like to use the McDonald's one because you can just go to a little machine and you just enter the code from your phone and you can just order on that screen. Which I like they have that in fast food restaurants, like something like a McDonald's, because if you don't exactly know what you want, you're just kind of standing there looking at the fucking board. Uh, and just kind of like you know then you got like some dude in his lift truck who just pulled up from his job site and he's like super pissed he's like oh, I'm on my fucking lunch and you're just over here like I don't want to fucking walk or you're not like 100% you know what I mean and then people are like waiting on you to fucking make a decision and you're just like bruh because a lot of those restaurants have like fucking scrolling ass fucking boards now that like Display fucking ads for their own goddamn food. Just let me fucking pick. So I like the McDonald's has the little board you can like scroll through and you can just pick what you want. Especially when you're ordering with people too, who are just like indecisive on shit. They're trying to order shit 
especially my dad. He's like off looking at some shit. Fucking like. Doesn't fucking hear half the time. Because he doesn't have his hearing aids in. So he's off like looking at some shit. And then he doesn't know what he wants. Because half the time he like doesn't want food. Because he. After he lost a lot of his weight that he had. He doesn't want to eat that much. Which is understandable. So we're like hey what do you want. He's just like. Doesn't know. Dank memes. Yeah, basically, he's just like, I'll have a dank meme. I'm just like, okay. Do so like, he'll end up getting a, like... A double or a single? Double dank Or do memes. like a combo meal with a free drink? No, lots of times, genuinely, like when we order things, he gets like... The least amount of things, or just like... Doesn't really pick much of the stuff. That's on it. Like, we, when we got Taco Bell, I think he got, like, a quesadilla and, like, one taco. I'm over here. I had, like, five tacos and a fucking burrito and, like... I don't know why you're breaking, Bozo, but... The race interesting, Bozo. This racing fell off from interesting a while ago, dude. That's a reset, Bozo. <laughs> Bozo, I love that. But three, two, one, go. I know a lot of times I go to like McDonald's and he'll get like fries. And that's it. I'm like, okay. That's Hold a up. solid meal. I mean, one meal is like a full serving for McDonald's fry, or one fry is a full. Like meal, so, and I don't mean fries and like a small fry. I mean fries and like one singular fry is a whole meal. Yeah, I don't know about the accuracy of that claim, but um, I mean it was on the news, dude, a couple of years ago. And you believe what's on the news all the time? Recently. No, not all the time, but that one was true. Or, I know he'll get the ice cream sometimes if the machine never works. It never does. Three, two, one, go. I remember there was one that, that's a reset. One time we went recently and it did work. And I was like, damn. Three, two, one, go. Bro, when McDonald's, they always do like some wild creative ass promotions, dude. McDonald's fucking kills it with marketing. Shout out to their marketing team. Um, I feel like of the fast food restaurants, they probably do it the best of any of them. But. Reset. Before they started doing like their celebrity meals, which they kind of then turned into the Grimace meal, which was a fucking brilliant idea. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that was fucking good. Like, bro, they literally. I want to know how much money they made from the Grimace meal, from literally taking a vanilla shake and adding purple food dye to it. Like, that's all they did, dude. That's a reset. And it wasn't even that, it was the fact that, like, it was his birthday and, like, the memes were behind it, dude. I think, Everybody nah, even without the meme, like, if there wasn't the meme of the fucking Grimace Shake meme, which was fucking hilarious. Three, um, two, one, go. Like, even without that meme, I think you, that shit would have popped off either way. But, I mean, I mean that I think it's just telling of what people want. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't mean, want fucking Lizzo's fucking eight course meal. Like, I fucking want to spend under $10 when I go to fucking McDonald's, dude. Yeah, dude. Like. But again, the thing with that is that a lot of the meals of the celebrity meals, they weren't really like anything different because it was genuinely just like, you know, whoever they had. I know they had BTS before. And I think they had like, I don't know. Oh, they had a. 
uh, Cardi B one, I think. That's a yeah, Tupac one year. Did they? <laughs> yeah. I don't find that difficult to do. Three, um, two, one, go. But, no, I remember the, those yeah, are ones I remember. West Coast Cheeseburger meme. What? So I can't. West Coast Cheeseburger. That's where that came from? No, no, never mind. It's like, I don't think that's where that came from. I'm just saying, that's what that's what would be the item. <laughs> it's the West Coast Cheeseburger and Curly Fries, bro. Yeah. That's a reset. Can't forget the Curly Fries, dude. That shit would sell. Tupac's West Coast <laughs> Cheeseburger and Curly <laughs> Fries. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Oh my god. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that was a fucking fantastic bowling team name, dude. Oh my god. Uh, we were two. We won Should with that team points? name, right? Yeah. Oh. I was my. only gonna have points. Was it? Yeah, and hate it. Ate Eddie's daughter's ass. Oh, oh man, I, I know you wanted to, but damn. I know you wanted to. I know you wanted it. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. some Chupac came out right now, dude. It's crazy, bro. You want to go nom 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 as well. All about it. Um, yeah, but I think that's the thing. A lot of their McDonald's celebrity meals. I mean, if you're like a fan of that person, I'm sure you pulled up. But like, it's like cool. You have a Big Mac and a Sprite. That's real creative. But doing something like Grimace's birthday, bro, that was fucking genius. Because, again, you took something that existed on the menu, added purple to it, pulled up with Grimace, and then you're killing it. Yeah, now I just need that chicken bitch, bro, with the red hair. However, I have like a. Oh, never mind. I wouldn't be Dude. surprised if they did more like McDonald's character. Um, Bro, events everybody like misses that. that, dude. Everybody, they don't want this fucking digitalized bullshit. We want the old fucking bullshit. mascots back. Yeah, dude, the fucking kiosks. The ones that I was we don't hyping want up. that. We want that. Yeah, nobody wants that. We want the fucking. Literally, everybody wants that. Mas Shut the fuck up and listen. We want the mascots taking our orders, dude. Come no. right up to us and be like, I'd rather "Hey, have... what would you like to order?" I rather have, bro. I don't want fucking grimace pulling up and asking what I want to fucking order at McDonald's, bro. I'm good. I will keep it real with you, fam. Grimace, a cool dude and all, but I'm not trying to have that dude take the fucking order, bro. Because if Grimace was a <laughs> McDonald's employee, they'd put that dude in the fucking back. <laughs> dude was on. Oh, who the McDonald's? How can I help you? Third <laughs> order. Oh, my God. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Oh, my God. It's Grimace. Like. Say happy birthday to Grimace. That would be so fucking funny, dude. Oh my god. Can we please do that, dude? Come on, we have an excess of... we. I, hey, at the beginning of the episode and the last episode, we were talking about how we have a bunch of illegals in the United States, dude. <laughs> bro, you're not going to put illegals in a fucking Grimace suit, are you, bro? <laughs> I mean, hey, we can create a bunch of new jobs 
I when we get when we get the uh, Hamburglar, bro. When we get Vivek on this podcast, dude, we can ask him if he backs this idea, and it'll be perfect, dude. Do you back the illegal immigrants dressing up as Grimace and taking McDonald's orders? Oh my god, bro. I'm sure it'll be for it. Because he's about earning your, your way, you know. If they're already here, like, obviously it's going to be difficult to weed out the people who are here, I mean, everybody's here illegally, and it's bad, but if there's generally people who do want to work, and it's going to be easier removing the people who are criminals than it is the people who are just here not illegally. It just would cause a worse look. So I think that getting rid of the people who are uh, actually doing very, very, very bad things <laughs> uh, who are in the country right now is, like, the main priority. And then, you know, we can get the people who don't really want to do anything, just want to make a, their keep, you know, raise their family, and, you know, a little bit of scare from the government every couple of years when the Republicans take the House, uh, is, uh, you know, they can get jobs at McDonald's dressing up as the Hamburglar and Grimace. Yeah, and bro. the baddies can dress up as that check bitch. Bro, the Hamburglar goaded, bro. Give me the Hamburglar birthday meal. So they just give it to you in a burlap sack? Yeah, dude. Um, oh, what I was talking though about... What I was talking about... What I was talking about with McDonald's pulling up with their goaded, uh... Marketing. Before they did all the fucking celebrity meals every fucking two goddamn weeks... A new one on fucking TV of get the fucking Osama bin Laden meal. Like, bro, I don't want the Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'll try it. I mean, just literally two towering burgers. Like, <laughs> like I'm good, fam. But. They did international food because the international, like, McDonald's have some heat at them that we don't have at American McDonald's. So they pulled up with a few. I think there was one from, I remember it was Australia and Netherlands and two other countries. I remember those two, bro. There was some heat. They pulled up. Is that a Good Mythical Morning episode? No, this is not a McDonald's, bro. Oh. This is like a thing they did years ago. Probably like five or six now. Oh, the international one? Yeah, remember they had like four different oh, items? Oh, yeah, it was a while. Yeah, I do remember that. I think it was... Maybe Canada was one of the ones in it. Um, I remember one had like a burger and one had like a chicken sandwich. The Netherlands one was like some ice cream. Yeah, or milkshake or some shit like that. I remember that one was ice cream. And there, I think there was some milkshake from some other country. Bro. Oh, that shit. Waffle. Yeah, bro. That shit was heat. Do more of that. I don't need Cardi B and Offset meals, bro. I need... International food. Out of McDonald's. That's the thing. No other, no other fast food place be bringing it like that. Yeah, no. It's, I mean, they don't market it like that. Yeah. I mean, like what, they have different items in other countries, but they don't like. But I'm just them. saying, marketing in general, they don't bring it the same way. Yeah. I mean, you got Burger King. You just got some fucking dude singing Whopper, Whopper, Whopper on a fucking ad. Like, yeah, Burger King really is the worst of all, all of them, dude. Because Burger King's not promoting anything new. They don't They're have just... good food. They don't Bro, have good Burger fucking advertising. Shit. They don't have good anything, dude. Like, Burger King, when they have some shit, 
They should it's go not... woke. <laughs> they should go woke. The thing is that they don't promote new things, right? Like, McDonald's always promotes something new and then gets you to have the the iconic item, right? But they're not... McDonald's doesn't pull it up and is saying, eat a Big Mac, right? Where... Yeah, because they know you're going to already get the Big Mac. Yeah, right. They may promote, like, their second item. You know, they promote the quarter pounder with cheese. They promote, like, some other share. They, again, promote the meals, promote something. But they're not just like, get a Big Mac. Where Burger King's just, like, whopper, whopper, whopper. Like... That was the worst fucking advertisement, dude. The worst. It's like, cool. We know you have the fucking whopper. What else do you have? Also, their chicken sandwich, mid as fuck, compared to every other chicken sandwich place. You're not going to have good items. I've had Burger yeah. King twice, ever. I had Burger King once with you in like 2011 when they had some Pokemon promotion. And I'll try the uh, impossible Whopper. That shit was not as bad as you'd think it would be. But Bro, I remember when dudes are having a meltdown about the impossible Whopper because it's made on the same grill as the regular Whopper. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But then there was, expect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then I have a fucking portable George Foreman here to fucking pull out just for the fucking. People who don't like meat grilled on the same grill, dude. Like, oh wouldn't it still be like a problem since the smoke would still be like in the air? No, nah, it's the just room that it's for making contact with it that they fucking melt down about. Um, but the thing with it is the only other time that I had Burger King outside of us going in like 2011 for some Pokemon promotion was when the chicken sandwich came out a few years ago. My brother and I went to go try it. And first of all, the Burger King fucking area was fucking trashy as fuck. Couldn't go inside to order. <coughs> and parking lot was just full of fucking trash. The fucking <coughs> trash can was just fucking overflowing. Because people fucking clearly. What the fuck? Guess I'm picked this vehicle. Um. That what you picked? I guess so. So... Yeah, first of all, overall area was just complete trash. Um... We went to go order some shit, and I remember they were like, had no idea what the fuck we were ordering. That was literally on the fucking menu. So they hired the most clueless ass fucking people. Um, and then the food tasted bad. The only place I've had a chicken sandwich from that I've rated lower than Burger King, I'm pretty sure, was Stop and Shop. In their pre made chicken sandwich display. Ugh. To reset. Three, two, one, go. Kind of killed it for me, that fucking Risa, dude. I'm surprised how close that thing was the entire time. Yeah. No, honestly, that was wild. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, overall, the experience of Burger King was... And again, they're not promoting anything fucking different. I had Faz's lab, okay. Uh, 
Um, what other fast food places? My God, they promoted the Spider-Man burger. The red burger. You literally made the same thing with the grimace shake being dyed purple. Oh, oh yeah. My God. It was You're also. Literally it hilarious. was also though. Do you want a shake? From McDonald's that's dyed purple, or do you want a Whopper with black food dye in the bun? Oh my god, the same thing. No, because one's a McDonald's shake You're and one's a... You're literally Hitler. You're Hitler. Oh my god. Because this episode have a fucking end. So you a tongue ring? God. The third fucking version of this bitch ass track, dude. Um Yeah, I'm trying to think of other restaurants that I've ever like pulled up and like <clears throat> actually done some goaded ass shit. Um Way Back Burger Way Back Burger. That's the next oh. place you think of? I went to there the other day, so... I don't even know where the fuck that is. Bristol. Oh. Yeah, it's one of those, like... Places. Smashburger. So that's I like one... I've never been to Those places are like one... Like half tier above fast food restaurants, though. Michael Jordan's restaurant. Michael Jordan's restaurant, like the expensive ass one in the casino. Yeah, I sell burgers. Bro, that's like a fucking fancy Five ass guys. sit down restaurant. Five Guys is a regular like fast food place. Yeah, Expense is fucked though. Yeah. Uh, one marketing thing that did pull up was, uh, Popeyes and the other chicken sandwich, bro. That shit was wild. You remember that shit when it came out? Yeah. Everybody was, like, selling that shit on eBay, bro. That was fucking wild. Like, bro, who's gonna buy a fucking Popeye sandwich on eBay, bro? Say so people will buy a fucking Dorito. It's in the shape of Ellen DeGeneres' head. <laughs> You're not wrong, dude. So you're telling me that you'd rather buy a fucking Popeye sandwich? For like, however much money it costs, get that shit like three days fucking later, or just like wait until it restocks the next day. Okay, bozo. Yeah. Overnight no shipping, dude. What about shipping? I said overnight shipping. Oh. Fucking like. $150 shipping just for a fucking Popeye's chicken sandwich, dude. Hot and ready. Here by the morning. Or imagine the yeah, fucking, the like, trip. how that shit's gonna still come, dude. It's gonna be, like, fucking soggy as fuck. Uh, I mean, it depends on the... Bro, those shits already are by the time you fucking, like, eat them if you don't eat them literally right away. Like everything soaked in the fucking bread. Like. Oh, uh, yeah. It's in that like, temple thing. Yeah, so you get like all the stuff from the sandwich and then like the pickles and mayonnaise on it all getting fucking heated up inside of a fucking foil bag. So I just don't open that at all and then just like be chilling there like because it's not going to get cold it's going to be like fucking just room temperature warm 
chicken sandwich, bro. Like, you digging in, my guy? Ready to get a little tasty? You guys see me? Yeah, bro. Popeye sandwich delivered to your house from eBay. Uh, no, I think I'll just put it on my shelf and admire it. <laughs> admire it! What's your take been on this playlist tomorrow? Eh. Bro, this shit had so much potential to be like a wild ass episode in the beginning. How close the sprints were in those first two races. Yeah. And then you were a slut. I was a slut? How? Yeah. By showing up, dude. Showed up. Could have got that automatic win if you weren't here. Mm, was it 15 minutes, 18 minutes? Yeah. If you fucking show up and the... you're legally allowed to leave. Yeah, I'm ready for this to be over, dude. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Remember the beginning when you were asking, like, about fantastic video experiences? What's your top five favorites? Mm hmm. These, these types of playlists that go for fucking three hours and there's zero competitiveness, those are always. Oh, he's real fun. Be worse? Be worse. <laughs> Good. Did it bring back the playlist timer? Holy fuck. Oh my god, we're doing it for shorts. It's hard when there hasn't been any action, dude. Haha. <laughs> well, that's the race, buzz. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.